Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will sketch a horse with ink. And I want to thank Appeals, our sponsor. Let's begin with a line for the top of the neck and then a triangular shape for the head. Or a trapezium shape, rather. I am barely touching the paper with the nib because these are guidelines and I want them light. One of the front legs will go like here, the one that is stepping up. We mark the volume of the body and this is the rear. And let's draw the legs. We can first just find the position by marking it with a line, like so. The four legs. Let's check the size of this one. It should go to about here. Good. And now let's draw the head and face with more detail. In last week's tutorial, we went over how to easily draw the horse's head step by step. If you haven't seen it, I recommend you to watch it. Today's drawing is a much looser one. It is not step by step, it is a more rapid sketch, which I hope at the end will also look fluid and with movement, that is, not stiff. I learned this from a book I love called The Art of Animal Drawing by Ken Holtgren. In order to correctly do this type of sketch, it is important to study the anatomy of the horse. And that can be achieved by making a lot of anatomical sketches of the horse, of the bones, muscles and actual horses. We will soon begin shading. When doing so, remember that you can use the shading lines in order to convey the volume of each part. Wrap your lines around the shapes. You don't need to do this always, but you can do this to help you represent the volumes, as if drawing on the actual rounded object. And while I continue drawing, I want to briefly talk to you about Appeals, our sponsor. As you probably know, Appeals are a unique fabric decal, that is a sticker, that can be applied to your phone, water bottle, and more. Appeals are made in the USA. Their special adhesive allows you to stick your appeals to virtually anything, remove it and reuse it somewhere else. Knowing that, I will take this one, which I have on the box where I keep the paints, and I will move it to the door at the other side of my studio. Right here. That would look so much nicer and I will be able to see it all the time. Now, since I have the same painting on the back of my phone, I think I would rather change that for a new one. I will place there a sculpture I made called The Birth of Venus. I think this one will look so nice on there. I'm really happy with it. Look, nice, eh? <laughs> and to end today's decoration, I'll place this artwork on the side of this wooden cabinet where I keep my pencils and pens. My studio looks so much nicer now. In this way, I can sell the originals, but still enjoy the artworks. This is perfect for my own enjoyment but I would love to also be able to promote my brand, or in this case, my art. So I go to the Appeals website, upload my work and design my appeals. It will say artistleonardo.com in bright red letters, so that they also match the flying fish of the painting. 
and I will be able to place it on my car or whatever I want for others to see. I look so much forward to getting it. Visit Appeals to order yours. You can choose from their great designs or create your own using the artboard. Very good! Excelente! We give it the last touches and it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to Fine Art Tips if you haven't done so already, don't forget to visit Appeals using the link below, and I will see you with more creations on Tuesday.